from the Introduction to African American Studies at the College of Charleston, and we are doing an activism project on um, African American diners and the stereotypes associated with tipping in the food and beverage industry. Tipping has become a norm of American culture. Many servers, particularly at restaurants, do not receive a great enough tip or even a tip at all. To many people's dismay, tips are what servers depend on for their income. In doing some research, we noticed that African Americans are stereotyped for being poor tippers. For our activism project, we conducted a survey on stereotypes associated with African American diners. The survey was created on Google Docs and was sent out to two communication research methods classes here at the College of Charleston. The published link was also blasted on Facebook and Twitter. The survey consisted of 38 questions, basic information questions, which included ethnicity, ethnicity, age, and educational background, questions about dining and tipping, and then a set of questions created for individuals that work in the food and beverage industry. Actually, I would compensate for the lack of tip just because that's someone's paycheck that you're dealing with. I mean, they get paid like a basic rate. It's like $2.30, something like that. But those they depend on those tips, so it's not really fair. If, I mean, if someone messed with my paycheck, I'd be a little angry. So. Do you believe that tipping should be based solely on your service? No, because folks that work in that industry are paid so low already. Do you believe tipping should be based solely on your service? I think so because it's a service industry. So if you can't conduct yourself in a manner that's going to allow someone to feel comfortable as a customer, then why should they tip you? Um, having been a server myself, I believe that quality service is most important and makes experience enjoyable. And if you can't provide that, then you shouldn't be provided with the funding. Um, and that's regardless of race on either side of uh, the matter. It's just good service deserves credit. Do you believe you should always tip on food delivery and takeout services? Uh, yes, I do. Uh, but more specifically, um, I think, how's it going? Um, I think that most people get confused with tipping when the food is bad. I think they take it out on the waiter or the waitress. Um, if the food's bad, you don't blame them, you, ba you blame the cook. You tip your waiter if they keep your drink filled or, you know, the food comes out even in a timely manner. But, you know, I, I think a lot of people don't tip because if they look for one little thing to go wrong, it, it absolves them from tipping. So. You should leave a tip every time you go out to eat. Yes, of course you should. Okay. You should leave a tip every time you go out to eat. Uh, I guess I degree, uh, disagree somewhat because I guess the tip should be, uh, the tip should be, relative to the quality of service, I would say. You should usually leave a 15 to 20 percent tip. I agree with this because um, those working in the food and beverage industry are not getting paid very much and are, are working for their tips. However, they need to earn that amount of money and um, so I'm willing to, to say disagree if they don't actually live up to the job that they should be doing. My name is Becky and I was a server at a downtown restaurant for a while and um, I ran into a lot of different stereotypes in the food industry. Um, of course African Americans have a big stereotype that they're poor tippers and that they're generally, um, they generally work you pretty hard and don't give you money for what you've done for them. Um, I actually had a table of uh, black women that came in and they created such a huge fuss that it got the manager and the general manager's attention and uh, they ended up firing me over it because um, they were, they pretty much just got mad enough to the point where that was the only answer that they would take. Um, other than that, uh, Canadians are very bad tippers in general. I've seen checks that, you know, pretty much have a 2% tip on them. 
And then Asians actually have been pretty good tippers. Really? <laughs> um, I mean, obviously one of the most common stereotypes of African Americans in the food industry is that they can't tip. Um, I know personally I've been a server a number of times at a couple of different restaurants for like over the past four years while I've been in college. Um, you're going back and immediately some of your coworkers will be like, oh, I have Canadians at such and such table, uh, indicating that they have black people. But sometimes I feel like we help to perpetuate that stereotype and make it true because I know servers go into it already thinking, oh, I'm not going to get a good tip with these people, and they don't give them good service. And obviously, you know, it's a service-based industry, and the people tip on how the service that they receive. And so if you go into it already with a negative attitude that these people aren't going to tip me, I think in a way you're going to perpetuate that, that scenario because they're not going to tip you well because you didn't give them good service. Um, obviously, there's some people out there that don't know how to tip. Um, whether they be black, Asian, Mexican, it doesn't matter. Um, and I think a lot of times you endanger your tip going into it with that negative uh, perception. Um, I often find that when African-American diners come into the restaurant, they tend to leave me more than they do my white coworkers, but it's still not up to you know 20%, even if they get crazy good service. I mean, I've had ridiculous complaints and it's just out of control but I really try to keep a positive attitude when I go to each table because I don't want to give them bad service just because of you know what I experienced from a different table because that's just the way the industry is I have to keep a smile on my face every time I go to a new table regardless of what's going on at the other side of my section so I try to stay positive but it's hard sometimes <laughs>